The Singapore budget allows the government to manage current revenue and spending, and more importantly, to plan for the country's future. Consider this. In 2015, about one in eight Singaporeans was above 65. In 2030, that will increase to about two in eight. What will this mean for Singapore? For a start, healthcare spending will increase as the population ages. And we have to prepare for that. Meanwhile, we also need to continue investing in future generations, transforming our economy, building new infrastructure, and strengthening our social support nets, all while ensuring our security. There is sufficient revenue till the end of this decade. But as we face rising expenditures in the long term, we need more resources over time. This is so that we do not pass on an unsustainable financial burden to the young and our future generations. We will have to plan now to ensure that there is enough support for those who need it today, with some resources left for a rainy day and a portion invested for tomorrow. The government's revenue comes from taxes, fees and charges, and is supplemented by the Net Investment Returns Contribution Framework. We will continue to maintain a tax system that is fair and sustainable, with the least impact on the needy and on the economy. At the same time, we have to ensure that we spend within our means and that every dollar is spent wisely. For example, Singapore gets better education results than many countries without needing to spend as much as they do. The Singapore budget is a strategic plan on using our limited resources effectively, caring for today's Singaporeans while safeguarding the future for our children. For more information on Budget 2018, please visit this website.